Are these girls for real? Or they picked up some photographs in the magazines and put together different stuff to attract guys? Are these girls for real or they are taking a YouTube or Facebook profiles and post them online just to have a database? Are these girls for real and do they really want to have a husband or just have fun in restaurants, going out, getting some gifts and entertaining themselves and at the same time having a boyfriend or a husband staying at home? Are these girls really for real? Is it possible for any of them to leave Ukraine, have a family abroad, adjust to a different country and have a job? Do they want to have a job? Do you recognize your thoughts? In your mind, these thoughts are running when you are looking at the database of the ladies that my rep agency represents or any other agency has in the database, and you wonder, is it really for real? Well, yes. Actually, yes. This is for real, and here's why. Number one, now Ukrainian women actually do not need to leave Ukraine and do not need to find a better country or a better place with better economy because now, even though that the world believes that we are at war and we are a third world country and all the political and economical difficulties in Ukraine, still women have quite a decent life here, especially in a big city when they have lots of interest, when they do yoga, when they go to opera, when they attend concerts, when they have family and friends around them. So now comes the question, why do they need a foreign husband? Yes, there is an answer to that. But not all Ukrainian women need a husband from abroad. Uh, the ma international matchmaking is a very niche service, very much a narrow niche that is good for people that belong to the world. What it means is the a person here, a girl, who has nothing that really keeps her rooted to only Kiev or only Vinnytsia, Kharkiv or Zaporizhia, but She's got international views, cosmopolitan philosophy, and good education. Well, usually she doesn't own a big house or property, doesn't have a big business, or even if she has this business, this business is uh, centered not only in a specific place, but can be done anywhere. Maybe she is widowed. Maybe she's had family before and divorced and some, has some bitter feelings about local guys. Maybe she is really single and looking for her soul. And uh, the guys that she has around are busy, are mostly married and uh, do not meet uh, her philosophy expectations do not meet her set of mind, do not meet her vibrations that she has, you name it, then this girl qualifies uh, for an international relationship and she can come to an international marriage agency. Yet many of them may not come because of the stigma that is created by paper letter websites when girls are corrupted by being paid for whatever, for just somebody writing letters for them. And it kills the proper matchmaking business when the women simply do not trust. But there is a tool for that. We build trust with these women. We conduct seminars, we conduct master classes and speaking clubs to show that this is for real in the Marriage by Natalie agency that I represent. So women uh, looking for a husband, they are first looking in Ukraine and they are choosing the appropriate candidates here. Some of them are brave enough to consider a foreign husband. They are brave because this is the unknown for them. 
uh, whatever mentality um, the guy belongs to, be it American, Canadian, European, Australian, let's say German, French, this is different. But now, globally, we are all united by good morality, if we have good morality. We are all united by traditional family values, when we were given these values by our parents, we are all united by a goal, and this goal can be creating a family, because this is why single women in Ukraine come to my agency and single men from all over the world come to my agency. So the idea is to help them meet, give them a safe space, uh, and introduce them to each other in the safe environment. We really make sure that the women that are applying to us will win uh, when they have international relationship. In terms of winning, in terms of creating better life for themselves, better life for the guy that they will marry, better life together. That economically, the guy that she dates and the girl that I suggest the guy to date are equals, which means equals. It's difficult to measure with money because in Ukraine it is still difficult to measure the same figures, although possible now. Uh, but equals in terms of their education, their values, their life goals, their f uh, um, kernel families uh, strategies, and uh, their personalities equals in their willingness to have a family and work towards it. Not just, yes, do it yourself, guy, and pay for it all, and I'm going to watch. No, this is not the only attitude that a woman can have when she enters relationship. So, are these women for real? Mm, I guess so. Because by the time they are entering our website, which isn't by themselves, by the way, we post their profiles on our website. This is a very conscious move to the woman uh, that um, is accepting the fact uh, that uh, she's going to be meeting guys from all over the world. She's going to meet guys who want to create family and will expect her to move to his country. We have very few couples that actually live in Ukraine. 99.9% .9 of the ladies go to live in the guy's country. They accept that their life will not improve immediately. That they will have to go through some transitions and hardships and uh, experiences of opening a new page in their lives. And they will have to survive. And our psychologist makes sure the girl has enough power and strength and common sense to survive this transition. And then we also make sure that they are attractive enough for our male um, clients and they represent themselves in an attractive manner and we make sure uh, we present you um, quality photographs of these women that you can see the real person and not a <laughs> Instagram uh, model or something like that. So yes, they are for real. Because not all Ukrainian women are brave enough to move abroad and start a new life over there, somewhere, with somebody they don't know. Um, only the brave, only those who have more courage to start anew. And then they are actually for real. Sometimes um, they are not so active. Sometimes they date different guys, but they are legally single, and we have proofs of that as copies of their passport or copies of their divorce certificates um, and other documents, course decisions that prove that. Um, they sometimes lose interest in dating foreign guys because some guys aren't nice in dates. 
Sometimes they have great interest to date guys because some guys are really great on dates and they encourage them, although the chemistry doesn't happen, but the girl still believes that this print charming exists. So when you are for real, when you know what you really want and when you are ready to go bravely into the experience of international uh, dating and international matchmaking, then these ladies are going to be absolutely for real for you. And here in Marriage by Natalie, we will make sure that the dates are set up with everything in mind, your interests, her interests, your goals, your attraction needs to be resolved on a date. That's why you're meeting. But overall, you have to both win when you're dating each other and plan to do a relationship. So now the question is, are you for real? And do you really want the wife? And if so, marriagebynatalie at gmail.com. Write us an email and we will answer more questions if you may have them. Thank you for watching. Bye.